happens when a school district partners with local businesses to get students out of classrooms and into work environments? Today we're in Wapaka, Wisconsin to talk to school leaders about a program that does just that. We'll also visit with high school students who are expanding their skills and building their resumes on the job. Wapaka Works is the opportunity where students at Wapaka High School will empower their own education. We give them chances to learn what they're good at, what the trends are in the industry. We give them the academic background and then the direction in the world of work. So they have an easy transition into post-secondary education, if that's a four-year university, college, technical school, the world of work, or the military. It is our goal when they leave Opaka High School, they have a mission and the culture to achieve their goal. It's about connecting education to careers. So what are they learning in the classrooms, whether it's in the career and technical aspects of schooling or hopefully in the math classes or science classes, what are career opportunities they have with that knowledge base and foundation. So it's, it's exploring those opportunities that are um, maybe unknown to students or maybe they know a little bit about it. So how can we help to bridge that gap between their academics and what are they going to do after high school? Our local business owners uh, have an opportunity to tap into the next generation of workers and be able to appeal to them as part of the local and larger job market. The programming that we're learning here and all the things about it in the different languages that we've been using and looking at and learning, none of them really are available at our school. So this is providing us something that we couldn't even possibly get at our school, which I think gives it a lot of value. I'd almost say that this has been unmeasurable for value. We, of course, get credits for these classes, but I'd have to say it is still unmeasurable because we're getting real-world experience. We get to meet other people and actually understand how a computer programming company works. The app that we're working on is an event planner and event scheduling app to help people attending some conference to basically know what's going on at the conference, all the different um, sessions and events that might be happening, so speakers, um, group meetings, and tell them keep track of that. At school we learn just kind of the basics on how to program and what you need to know, but what working here has taught me is like how to work as a team and what you have to know to apply your knowledge to something and make it work and be functional. I would say that this has been an exceptional experience and I would highly encourage other people looking for some kind of apprenticeship to definitely at least start here. I think anyone who is interested should pursue it definitely because it helps to balance out your day. Instead of going to school for the whole day, you know, you get a little taste of school and it's work and it just really uh, makes your day a little better. They're tackling in their senior year of high school concepts that I didn't necessarily even get until maybe my senior year of college or not even until my internship started here at Skyward. So they're working with some really, really complex uh, tasks and, and concepts. So I've been really impressed with that. I would have never thought that I would be, you know, in a full-time slash part-time job here. Each day is really different in HR because you never know how many people are going to come up to the desk or you know what times you're actually going to get in or get out. At first I wanted to teach, I wanted to help people, so like being able to help people in different ways now is probably my favorite. It's definitely like narrowed my path of what I want to do. Like I don't have to go and research all these different careers because I know the one that I want. And at the time, I wanted to go to accounting. I was enrolled in the accounting classes. And he goes, there is an opening at the Wapaka Foundry for an internship. And I said, OK, so what does that mean for me in return? He says, well, we'll rearrange your schedule completely for the day. And you'll leave at 12, 12.30, and go to work, and then go home. Accounting really, it's a one-way process. You do the same thing over and over again and I just didn't like that. Like I had to have variety in my day. Even in HR, like some days I'll come in, I check my email, I might have postings to do, but then it's like orientation stuff for uniforms or you know answering questions because I am at the front desk. So it's a variety of stuff and that's what I like. 
when I began uh, college. I thought I knew what I wanted to do, but once I got into the coursework, I realized that uh, I really didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. And so the apprenticeships really give an opportunity to our students to uh, have real world experience in a position that at this point in their life they, they think they may be interested in. And so it gives them really a, a leg up as they go into college and know uh, definitively whether or not this is an area that's uh, going to be right for them. Well, I've always been really interested in culinary arts, so I heard about this work experience program and I thought this would be a really great opportunity to come here and learn about cooking. Some days I, I just have the prep shifts, and other days I stay and I either assist, which is like work the fryer, or I'm on the grill making burgers and steaks. Before I came to cook, I had no idea what I wanted to do, but this being here really got me involved and help me decide what to do. I plan on being a chef and owning my own restaurant someday. I kind of started out here as a dishwasher previous to my senior year, which I started work experience. And my friend talked to me about possibly looking at becoming a prep cook slash cook. I come in at about one, start prepping, which is basically just getting stuff ready for the night from one to 3.30, four-ish. And then we start and we make food for people when they come in. Beforehand I looked at possibly programming or electrical engineering. I still think I'm probably going to look into one of those, but culinary is also an option. Um, my favorite part would probably be learning with friends. You make a lot of good friends here. You know, and I think one really important part of Opaca Works is that it touches every student. And I've had students that struggled in the classroom, that high school isn't their forte, working in the community is their forte. So we've used youth apprenticeships and work experience as a way to keep students in school until they get their academic requirements and now they have a good job in the community because they have the educational background and experiences that is worth a lot. Well, my favorite part of the program really is the excitement in our students' faces when they come back from their youth apprentice experience and they're just beaming. I have been blessed that we have a school district, administration, a school board that supports ACP and Wapaka Works. And because of the culture and the vision and the mission, we have found success. With partnerships like these, everyone comes out on top. Students, businesses, and community members. Puns aside, it really is true. The program works.